Like I'm really in the best mood to do some nails right now because I haven't done a set in a while. It's finals week and I really haven't been doing that much content. So this is the perfect time to do a challenge like today's challenge. Recreating my subscribers nail set. Okay, so first of all, welcome to this brand new challenge. So in this challenge, I will be recreating all of my subscribers' nail sets that they've created for me through drawing. So basically, I posted a blank canvas for you guys on my Instagram page for you guys to screenshot and draw on it to draw me a nail set that you would like to see me do here on my channel. I've seen a couple other influencers do this challenge, so this is not something that I made up. I'm definitely following a trend right now, but it's a good trend. I like this one because I'm able to like really connect with you guys a little bit and like you guys get to be a part of the content it's like y'all are here with me getting a nail set done so just imagine I'm doing your nail throughout this video <laughs> make sure you follow me on my instagram because i'm doing this for the rest of this month you can screenshot the template that i have up on my instagram page and do your drawing and send it to my dms i will be checking them each and every day i did get a whole lot of pictures and dms for this challenge so if i didn't get to look at your drawing i am so sorry it's not intentional i promise but i'm trying to get through as many as i possibly can so i'm responding to you guys but i do want to show a few of my favorites here on youtube it's super hard to draw your idea digitally on your phone so um i love each and every one of these pictures because it shows effort and i appreciate effort even though I would love to recreate all of you guys' nail sets that you've sent in, I can only pick one, which is super, super hard. I could not decide between these two. So that's what we're gonna do right now. So with this one, I really can see something going here. I'm picturing in my head what I can do with this. A lot of potential. And then this set will give me a challenge because just look at this. By the way, you did a really good job drawing this. It's only right to bring out my wheel to decide between the two. So I have A and B on my wheel to represent these two sets so one two three Ooh, be it is so this is the one i'll be recreating shout out to the creator of this lovely set i hope you are watching and girl let's get to it so as always we're going to start off with applying my tips so i am using these tips i got from amazon and they're the no c curve tip and i'm going to use my new favorite glue from young nails and when you're using this glue you really got to make sure you get it straight the first time because it adheres to the nail very very quickly which is what i like about it but at the same time that gives me like mini anxiety every time i try to apply nails but um we got them all straight so when i decide my length of the nail lately this is what i've been doing to make sure i get all of my nails the same length just using a nail form now with these nail tips you really don't need to shape them more than what they already are because they're already in the perfect shape I just like to bring them, taper them on in a little bit more. So I do it with my nail drill. And for some reason, that footage is gone mysteriously. It just disappeared. I don't know if I just thought I was recording and didn't record it or what happened. But I definitely tapered it in with my e-file first. And now you see me just filing everything all straight with my hand file. This is definitely a personal preference because you don't have to do this part. But I just like the more tapered look. So before I move on, I really want to bring something to you guys' attention. So I know some of you have DM'd me on Instagram about this issue. It's somebody in my comments on my last video pretending to be me. And they were telling different people that was commenting under that video that they won my giveaway and to message them on WhatsApp. I just want to let you guys know that that is a scam. Please, please, please do not respond to it. Um, I hope nobody has fallen victim to this person. I made sure I disabled that comment section so that person isn't able to message anybody underneath that video hopefully this doesn't happen again i'm trying to get their actual youtube profile taken down i just want to let you guys know that i would never ever ever ask you guys for money like ever just want to clarify that all right let's get back to the content so obviously there's a black base to this nail set so i'm gonna start with some black across acrylic and this is the only black acrylic i have surprisingly look how much i have left 
is dangerously low. So it's called Black Like My Heart and it is from the Double Dip store. So for the monomer, I'm gonna be using Valentino, which is honestly my favorite at this point in time. And then of course, my Kiera Sky brush, number 12. And you guys, look what I found, another black. So I don't have to struggle with this little corner in that jar. And then that's the black we're going for. I mean, black is black. I mean, there's not too many different shades of black. But yeah, there's that. It's honestly been a minute since I've worked with the color black. So I don't even remember if black is like a runny color. But let's just see. And this one isn't at all. Is just so pigmented. Yeah, this is going to be a messy color. I should have known. It's just like red. It gets all over the place. Let's kind of get him. There we go. Am I really going to finish this nail only using two B? It will honestly shock me if I do this. Push it up a little bit at the cuticle. And just pat it right on down. And I honestly think we're doing it in two beads for the first time in never. <laughs> and look at there, we got our apex already. Just clean up the sides really good. Ooh. Like the color black really demands for your attention. I don't use it often enough. That's why I'm really excited about this set. This is way off from what I usually go for. I don't think I've ever did like a spacey set. But look at that, that's what we love. And that's what we want, an effortless apex. So I know I always stress when it comes to how many beads I use. I'm trying to use fewer beads. Um, I'm aiming to use two beads for each nail. And it's really just for time purposes. I've been doing my own nails for a while now and I really wanna get through a set a little quicker than I've been doing lately. That's really a personal goal of mine, but I will say for beginners, I wouldn't recommend focusing on that. I believe beginners should use however many beads it takes to complete a nail, whatever you're comfortable with in the moment, because you're still learning, you're still trying to get your footing when it comes to acrylic and acrylic is not the easiest thing to work with, honestly. So if you're just starting out, just really pace yourself, get the technique down pat, get used to using acrylic, get your liquid to acrylic ratio down, all of that good stuff. You don't necessarily have to master the two beat method right off the bat. I'm just saying that because I know I've been pressuring myself to do that in my last few videos, but I don't want to make you guys feel like y'all have to have that master. If you're a beginner, just be patient with yourself. I always say practice makes progress. So as long as you're practicing your craft, you will always be progressing and getting better and better. I'm going to try my best to be more detailed in explaining my method on how I apply acrylic, but learning as a beginner, especially teaching yourself on how to apply acrylic and do acrylic nails my advice would be learn different methods and then stick to whatever method that you're most comfortable with to be honest i just watched a couple different nail techs that post their techniques on youtube or tiktok or wherever it may be and then you know i do whatever is most comfortable for me that's just my little advice for all of my beginners that watch me all of the time but anywho i think for the most part i did pretty good with this set i think i only use more than two beads on two fingers which is progress for me that's what i said practice makes progress so so after i finish this nail we're gonna move on to some nail art i think the nail art i'm most nervous about is like the planets because i don't know if i can draw that but um we're gonna figure it out together so I'm gonna start by recreating the ring finger. So she has here kind of like a galaxy vibe and I'm gonna try to recreate that using glitter. So I have this glitter here 
from Shein. And then I have all of these different colors. Can't remember where I got it from. I think I got it from out of a kit that I purchased from Amazon. But yeah, I'm gonna use a combination of these two to kind of recreate that galaxy look. So to create the galaxy, I'm gonna use blue, this purple glitter, this kind of white glitter because she has some white sprinkled in there. This one kind of shimmers like a pinkish, purplish color. So I'm gonna use that one. And then that one, really now that I'm looking at it, shimmer is kind of a greenish color, but um, I'm still using it. So. <laughs> so this is just regular gel top coat and I'm just gonna take it and trace it down my nail where I want the glitter to stay. And I really want it to kind of curve out like that. That was way too much. I did not need that much but I'll keep it. All right, and then I'm just really gonna dab the purple in here all around. I really wanna spread it out really, really good, which is why I'm really dabbing with this brush. I don't want it to be centered in one place. I'm gonna take the blue and do the same thing. Not too much, but just enough. Same with this one. I'm just gonna kinda dab this one at the top and at the bottom in this corner. I don't know, it's not strategic. It's just, I don't want it all over the place like everything else, so. <laughs> and I'm just gonna add this one. I don't think I'm gonna add the other glitter I said I was going to. And I'm just gonna focus this really in the, well, I don't have to focus it in the middle. We can, we can go wherever we want with this really. Oh, that was too much. I think that did the job. It's definitely giving off galaxy vibes. Okay, so I cured my little galaxy here. If you look real, real closely, she has like little specks, little dots in the kind of like the background on the pointer and on this middle finger. It's like they're like little stars in the distance so it can stick. I'm gonna put a thin layer of gel top coat. And then just dab the, ooh, that's a lot. I don't want like too much. I just want like little specks, just like she has it in the picture. Nothing too serious. Hopefully when I encapsulate this, it'll make sense. Might be too much. I think that's good. And now I'm going to cure that and encapsulate everything. So to cap this off, I'm going to use Valentino's Crystal Clear. And when you're capping black acrylic, you really want to make sure you don't have any bubbles in your acrylic that you're using to cap it off with. Those bubbles will stick out like a sore thumb on black. So I really made sure I flared out my brush in the monomer to get all of the bubbles out just so... I know for a fact I won't have bubbles in my acrylic and it turned out pretty good and it's looking really good encapsulated, this glitter. I was worried about how this was gonna look encapsulated, but it's safe to say I have nothing to worry about as of right now. And I'm a little disappointed about how some glitter got in to the pinky as I was trying to cap. I don't feel like that's gonna be an issue. Now all that's left to do is file and then we can get into some nail art. So off camera, of course, I shaped and I buffed. And with black acrylic, you definitely wanna make sure you buff really, really good and get all of the visible scratches out. The cuticle oil hack is perfect. Look at that. 
no visible scratches and that way whenever we put the top coat on you don't see anything but the nail design you don't see any of the scratches from filing so i, I love this freaking hack so if you don't know you put cuticle oil on the nail you rub it in and then you buff the nail and then that really smooths everything out and you're good to go to start designing. So before I move on to the other nail art, I want to enhance this galaxy here on this nail a little bit more. So I saw this nail design on Pinterest first and then I saw it again on YouTube. And I thought this would be a good design to use on this nail design on this ring finger here. So to try that, I'm gonna use my Ultra Line by Madame Glam, a dotting tool, of course, some acetone, some bloomy gel, and this perfect white gel from Madame Glam. So I'm gonna put a thin layer of the blooming gel over the whole entire nail. Ooh, that looks so good with a top coat. Then I'm gonna take this perfect white and really just kinda trace down the nail. Doesn't have to be perfect. And then I'm gonna give it a chance to really spread out to give that galaxy effect. And then while that's still spreading, I'm gonna take my dotting tool and just do two dots where I want my stars at, like she did it in the video, I'm gonna do it right there. And then hopefully that will spread out a little bit and then I'll cure. So after I cured, I put another dot in the middle so I can go ahead and start to do the star. And I just wanna say this, doing this star is harder than it looks. It looks so easy, but getting these lines to be straight oh my gosh i catch the devil trying to get these lines to be straight but that's what the acetone is for so off camera i kind of use the acetone to really straighten out my lines a little bit more because they were a little crooked um and i'm a perfectionist with these things <laughs> so it annoys me when it doesn't come out the way i want it to but um i really like the finished product of these stars they turned out a1 So now moving on to the part I'm most nervous about, which is the planets on this pointer finger. So I'm going to use uh, the blue and the green from Madame Glam's gel paint. From what I saw on the drawing that she made, most of the planets had kind of a shadow effect. So I'm going to draw a half of this planet that she had in the corner of the nail. And then I have an application brush to kind of like blend it out. This is not the best tool to use but this is just what I had close to me and yeah that's what I used and it kind of worked out really well I cured that and then I'm going back over with another coat and blending that out this made it look really realistic and I was like super scared of how this was going to turn out because I at first I didn't think they looked like planets but once I finish with everything it's really going to pull it all together so for the next two planets I'm doing the same exact thing I'm just going to blend it out and right here I have acetone just trying to round out the planet a little bit more blend it out so it looks like it has like a shadow going on and then I have one more with the blue now I did not think I was going to be able to fit everything that she had on her drawing on my actual nail because the pointer finger is one of the smallest fingers you have on your hand but I was able to squeeze everything in with no issue So she had one orange planet that looked like Saturn because it had a little ring around it. So that's what I'm going to try to recreate here. And it still had that shadow effect. So right here, I'm trying to take some of the gel off because I put too much. Now I'm just trying to blend it out to create the shadow. And then I want to take my detail liner brush to create the little baby ring. And lastly, she had two pink planets kind of in a distance. So I did that and... We're finished.
Now moving on to the middle finger. So she has three stars on this finger and although hers are yellow, I think I want to do mine's white just so it can match with my galaxy that I have on my ring finger. I ended up not liking the way the stars turned out because number one, the blooming gel didn't cure correctly. If you can see, there's little bubbles in the blooming gel. And then I did the stars too close together. So I just did two stars instead of three. I had to drill it all off and start all the way over but it was worth it and the last finger reminded me of a shooting star and i already did the star off camera since i already did it on camera but then i'm gonna take these little glitter flakes that i got from shein that i showed you guys in the beginning of the video and i really pressed it into the gel and then i took white gel polish and did some streaks here and there and then i took some acetone to kind of break it up just to really make it look like a gas like a shooting star and then i topped it off with some top coat that i got from young nails and then y'all know we have to put top coat on the rest of them cure them and then we are all finished i feel like this was a great way to kick off the series because i really like the way they turned out this set really has me wanting to practice more on my nail art which is perfect for this challenge now i'm super excited for more of you guys submitting your drawings especially for next week because look at what we came up with together this was my very first time doing like a space theme nail set so here are the drawings next to the nail that i did you guys can be the judge on how i did rate it in the comments i think i'm gonna give this set i'm gonna give it an eight out of ten maybe a nine out of ten but that's the end of this video i had so much fun doing this set if you would like a chance to see your drawing in next week's video make sure you follow my instagram and submit your drawing to my dms and i'm also doing a giveaway on my instagram right now so if you want to participate in that you can visit my instagram for more details and i will see you guys in my video for next week